no excuses. Let's just go to the store, okay? We're gonna get the ingredients to detoxify our mind. But I may be coming in a little bit hot, okay? Cause I'm passionate, but the first thing that you really want to do when dealing with anxiety or just wanting to reset your mind, wanting to detox from a long week, girl, it's been a long seven days. So in all seriousness, anxiety is difficult to deal with and I don't want you to be going through that alone. So I'm being vulnerable on the internet for you right now. Um, we're in this together. We're going to figure it out. We're going to reset today and have a good week starting tomorrow. The first step for me usually is pausing, right? Like we don't give ourselves the opportunity to stop and pause and say, I'm feeling anxious right now. Out loud, most of the time, that's the way I can get through to myself, um, just get past that like fog. And the next thing that I do is I say, so do I have time to do something about it? And hopefully you're on this video because you do have time right now, you just don't know what to do. I'm gonna give you some action steps that you can take. I'm gonna try them out, tell you if I feel better. Like I said, we gotta get some ingredients, so. Okay, we're back. Back from the store. Step two, release the Kraken. Whatever binding is holding you, child, let it go. Ooh, all right, whatever that is looking like. I usually am like a little bit thirsty, like dry mouth when I'm feeling anxious. So I'm gonna make myself a quick little refreshing drink with lemon and mint. The key here is to make sure that you're hydrated, whatever way that you like. I just thought this might be a fun way to have fun with drinking some water. Make sure that you're hydrated so that your brain is getting lots of oxygen and you're able to relax. Put on some comfortable clothes and start your brain dump. Just dump everything from the week, let it all out. Okay, so I was just journaling for about 10-15 minutes and I'm going to keep going. But one thing that helps me as well to detox and reset my brain is on that day, Multitasking is a lot allowed. Give your mind a break to only have to focus on one thing at a time. So right now I'm kind of cheating because I'm recording a YouTube video and journaling. So I'm gonna pause from recording and finish journaling and you should um, go ahead and finish journaling. I do this part silently so that I don't have any distractions and I can make sure that I'm paying attention to what my brain needs to release. I try to write down stuff that maybe I might not be proud of from the week or things that were stressing me out and I'm dumping it all out, releasing it from floating around and playing over and over again in my brain. Next thing that I do is I actually go back to my room and this is where I play music. I got this from one of you lovelies on Twitter. You sent me the trigger, protect, ugh, trigger protection mantra from Janae Aiko and that's what I play while I stretch and I do that for as long as I need to a lot of your stress can get trapped inside of your body so if you feel like your mind will not expand and you can't open up try to stretch your body out and release that energy and you'll see that just throughout this video I just become more and more calm all right girl it's getting good okay it's getting good by this point listening to trigger protection mantra and doing my stretching it's already starting to turn into meditating but now i just like to be a little bit more intentional about what i'm thinking about i turn the music back off and i sit in silence and there's three main things that i want to hit that i want to be consciously thinking about one is i want to tell myself that i'm proud of me and i don't hit a specific number but i will i do this part out loud actually and I say things that I'm proud of from this past week. What am I proud of? Like I'm proud of myself for X, Y, and Z. And saying it out loud and allowing yourself to hear it, it's just, a, it's just another layer, just making it real. It's not just a thought anymore. You're not proud of yourself in 
concept but you're actually proud of yourself sidebar editing bria here um i sound really sad in these clips and i'm not sad i was just i'm literally doing the detox so i'm very calm i'm very zen right now and most of this thoughts will be just thoughts in my head so saying it out loud sounds like a zombie like i'm super sad but i'm not sad i promise you i'm just super zen do you want to say your favorite affirmations um i'm gonna put some on the screen that you may like um some of my sayings or quotes that I say to myself often is just that everything will work itself out. And that is actually from my mom. She tells me that all the time and it's something that I kind of live by. I just like to keep that in mind, keep that heavy on the front of my mind that everything happens for a reason. Not even so much everything happens for a reason, but truly that everything will work itself out. Like you will be okay. Things are temporary and it will pass. That I've heard other people say is if you're going through hell, keep going. Don't stop there. Don't camp in hell. And the very last thing that I'm going to be mindful about while I'm sitting here silently meditating and thinking, um, enjoying the silence and being peaceful is to allow myself the time to deep, deep breathe, <laughs> to breathe deeply and don't think about anything else but my breath and how I'm breathing. And the reason that you're gonna do this is because you're allowing yourself the time to cherish seconds, moments, time itself, and allow the time to pass while you are with it, instead of letting it just pass you by. You're not paying any attention to it, but just be still and be silent and allow yourself the time to breathe deeply and let go of your anxiety, let go of the anxiousness that you felt this week. Okay, so that was a lot of low energy things. The last thing that I do to get my mind feeling right, well, second to last thing that I do to get my mind feeling right, is I am one of those people who's not very talented in things, but very much so enjoys them. So nobody's going to stop me and nobody needs to stop you, okay? You sing that little heart out. Go ahead and sing that thing. I also can't dance, but I like to dance a lot. I'm not gonna bless your ears or eyes with that visual but I will give you a little snippet of some of the music that I listen to. I say all of that to say this little snippet is about doing something that makes you feel good and something that is creative. Sing, dance, draw, paint, something in those realms wherever you are, I would say whatever you're gifted with, but I'm not gifted with singing or dancing, but those are my go-tos. I always dance. I usually do it like right after I get out the shower, but just with the way how this video went, now is gonna be my time to sing song and dance. I am a fan of Janae Aiko, Summer Walker. I listen to the same albums on repeat. If you already know what they are, shout out to you, but they're on the screen now. I'll be playing those three albums, front to back, top to bottom, and that's how I give my jam on, okay? And the last thing that I do is the final ingredient I got from Walmart, which is my favorite tea, vanilla chai. Um, I grew up drinking tea with my dad, so it always calms me down and brings me back to my youth and my childhood. It makes everything feel calm again, and I like to finish my nights that way, especially when I'm trying to focus on being mindful and doing things that are small, but very enjoyable for me. I hope this was a good Sunday reset for you, and if you can incorporate some of these things to reset your mind, please thumbs up this video and subscribe, and stay tuned for the other reset videos, which will be based on my surroundings and based on resetting my body.